Welcome back in another sunny, pleasant day on tap for Solheim Cup weekend tomorrow out of Inverness. Bright sunshine, temperature around 80 degrees. And for those of you joining us from out of town, that's around 26 Celsius. A gorgeous looking day. Northeast winds very light and variable at around 0 to 10 miles an hour. Looking at your current temperature high atop downtown Toledo, 78 degrees. There is Promenade Park where Gwen Stefani set to perform tomorrow. And many of you may be coming downtown for the weekend here in the 419. Temperature wise, we are a little bit cooler along the lake shore, Port Clinton and Sandusky in the low 70s. Our current Lake Erie temperature of 78. It's a little bit calmer out on the waters now that that gusty northeast wind has receded just a little bit. Let's zoom in closer here on the Toledo Metro. It is 76 degrees currently out at Inverness, looking just beautiful for the weekend of golf. Let's check out your first alert forecast here and our average high temperatures now that September is here. Normal high is around 82 degrees and we're going to be a bit below that for much of that first alert forecast. Normals going down and down as we approach the fall season and it's overall still going to be a cooler weather pattern heading into next week. Now I'm sure you've noticed this also now that September is upon us. Those sunsets getting earlier and earlier. Our current sunset time is 8.05 p.m. and we are losing daylight, losing about two minutes and 41 seconds per day as we approach the fall season. Here's a look at the next several days, staying bright and sunny for the weekend. Saturday looks like a very sunny and pleasant day. Pretty much identical weather on tap for Sunday. Low 80s in the temperature department, plenty of sunshine. It does look like Labor Day is going to be a nice day as well, although by the time we hit next Tuesday, there is the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. Maybe you're heading out to the Fulton County Fair this weekend. Pretty much a repeat performance with those temperatures in the 80s. Really take your pick. Whatever day is the most convenient for you. Light winds at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now the weather's been very quiet here, but of course we've been tracking the remnants of Ida, and I I want to put this into context just how much rain fell in parts of New England last night. Midtown Manhattan saw seven and a half inches of rainfall last night. Some folks woke up to about a foot of flooding rain. For some context, Toledo Express Airport all summer long has seen 12 inches. That includes June, July and August. Three months of rain. Can you imagine getting all of that in one night? That is what some folks experienced with the flooding rains in New England. Here's a look at rainfall totals. Manhattan saw around seven inches. In fact, Central Park picked up over three inches in just one hour in that short of a time. Long Island around seven inches of rain in Newark, New Jersey got closer to nine inches as a result of the powerful former Hurricane Ida. Let's check out that first alert 10 day forecast. You'll see that bright and sunny weather pattern for the weekend. There is a 20% chance for perhaps just a brief shower Saturday night. Nothing that should affect play out at Inverness next week. Looking overall cooler, but really Dan busy weekend in the 419 could not have asked for better weather this weekend. No, I'm amazed that 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 Ida remnant could go all the way through the lower part of the US up into New York and still keep all that moisture. Where does that come from? The, the Gulf still, but how? So, some of it from the Gulf because of the jet streams kind of aiding it along. And of course, the Atlantic Ocean's got plenty of moisture too. But in some ways, you know, the impacts on New England were worse than the actual hurricane itself. Really sad to see that. Wow, John, thank you. The remnants of Hurricane Ida leaving behind widespread destruction in the Northeast, as John said, the storm killing several people. In New York, several inches of rain in just a few hours, swamping the underground subway system and bringing public transportation to a near standstill. At least 12 were killed. President Biden offering states the federal government's full support. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to all the first responders and everyone has been working through the night and well into the morning to save lives and get power back. In southern New Jersey, people are also cleaning up after a tornado tore through, tearing roofs off of homes and collapsing walls. 